potential cancellations. Anyway. <laughs> no, the cleanup of that. Uh, the maybe, cleanup, it's a mess. How do you, how, seriously, that, that brings the question, how do you police stuff like that? It's you, can't. Just life. you can't. You can't. It's not. It's exactly. just life. It yeah, just but it happen. is a mess, and that, that trash and the plastics and everything oh. get into the drainage. Exactly. Here system. we go. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's got to clean it up then. Not yeah. it. Right? Can you not, I mean, could you not put your trash out on the days when rain is in the forecast? No. Oh, we don't have Right, to. we can't. But no, then it piles up, and this time of the year, it, it sits yeah. usually. I, like, I got an idea. potatoes, buddy. I all the way. <laughs> Atta boy. You just add a latch to <laughs> fit all okay, the garbage so there's trucks. something to say I know. It just, down the that's garbage. one idea. I'm brainstorming here. Yes, I like it. I like it. How often does this really happen, though? We see the video all windy days, rainy days. It doesn't matter. My garbage guy never comes on time anyway, so. Hey, oh. yeah, never. All right, speaking on time. Uh, we better start the show on time. You guys have a good one. We'll keep it going right here on America's Morning Headquarters, getting you through the mid-morning hours and helping you plan for all of your big events ahead. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Uh, I got some big stories again today. Uh, not too many of them have changed from the past couple of days, but. Well, the front. The yeah, big front. I was just going to say that okay. you're rude. That was kind of like, <laughs> except for the front. I yes. mean, this is like, if you haven't heard about it, I'm going to tell you a little story. There are big changes coming, and <laughs> you're really going to feel it. All right. Some of these top stories that we are tracking. You know, look, there is a front coming. Yeah, interesting New York City. They've had a lot of mid and upper 90s, but no record high temperatures, or at least not no, many of them. To deal with that and not get anything in the record books. Boston, Albany seem to have been the hot spots that have mm -hmm. been getting records. Even Newark, they were like 100 degrees a couple of days this month. Yeah. And I don't know if they've broken records. They might have tied one or two, so that's yeah. kind of like... Yeah, it's hot, but they haven't been breaking records. Well, it sure feels like it. It does. But it is going to cool down. Yeah, despite the cooler temperature. You know how it is here in Florida, where you step outside, it's muggy, it's kind of cloudy in the morning, right? It's humid. Then the sun starts peeking out, and then all of a sudden, just like that, we get into the big downpours. It gets dark right in the afternoon. The rain starts puddling up, and then it drains because, you know, it's Florida as the rain turns off. But that's the kind of day we're going to have tomorrow. Today's actually a drier day for um, a lot of us into the, the peninsula. But for New Orleans, we keep the showers and thunderstorms going, and we're going to watch that as we get into the next several days. So watching for some thunderstorms out there, um, especially this morning, we've seen some offshore where you see the brighter colors on the satellite bubbling on up here. That's where we do have some showers and thunderstorms. Watch what happens as we get you through the next couple of hours. Everything moving from south to north. And so some of this rain will be heavy at times. New Orleans, we're looking at you, uh, but we're especially looking right around Biloxi and Mobile. Some of this is where, some of these areas are where we're seeing some of the heaviest of rainfall. And again, because everything is moving from south to north, this is moving toward shore. Panama City, Cape San Blas, St. George Island, none of these spots here are really good spots to do any fishing this morning or taking a walk on the beach. It's a good one to sit inside, you know, maybe drink some coffee from your patio or balcony until the thunderstorms move in with the lightning. Now, this front that we've been talking about, the one that comes into the mid-Atlantic and the northeast and the Ohio Valley, this actually makes progress into the south. But you know, look, it's August, so it's not going to come all the way through. It's just going to stall out and actually exacerbate the chance for rain. So that goes up a little bit as we get you Thursday into Friday. Watching for New Orleans, Mobile, we've got that chance of thunderstorms again on Friday. We keep it going into the evening hours here right into South Georgia, Savannah, Charleston. Could be a tough one in the evenings if you're heading out maybe to the Riverwalk in Savannah. Well, rain is going to be a possibility. And then on your Saturday, we still watch areas here across the Gulf Coast, including the Florida Panhandle. And across the peninsula, actually, we get into more rainfall. But look what happens into Texas. Yes, we finally get some rain chances for you. San Antonio, could we finally put a dent in our drought? Austin, well, I don't know if a dent is what you can call it, but at least we'll get into some rain chances as we get into this upcoming weekend. All right, Ray, so this front, yes, brings rain, but also it brings something else here that in the house in the first place. Well, I've got questions about how things get in houses. <laughs> Slithery kind of things had a oh, couple. yes. Snakes. Yeah. Garage. Oh, yeah. yeah. The well, garage. they can yeah. sneak through. Yes, they can. Well, we've been talking this week about hot jobs, and yesterday we asked you, what do you think is the worst hot job for the summertime heat? All right, Tom. Cisco says, why they start banging early in the day on the yeah. roofs? We had our roof replaced in the fall. It was still like, like 90 degrees. I'm like, I don't know how you guys are doing that up I there. Know. Said, I it know. is awful. I need just my house painted. I know I want to wait till the fall because I yeah. don't want anyone to have to do that in the summertime, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, um, we do have some cooler weather coming up. Yeah. Transpiration. Also on transpiration process too. So you've got not just hot, but hot right. and humid. Yeah. Like yeah. the worst humidity. Oh, that sounds fun. 
Do you miss Wallace, even though he's not here? I know exactly uh, yeah. what he's thinking. Ooh, I need to talk to him about that number three Georgia rating. Oh. He's probably <laughs> not happy about that. <laughs> well, that'll be a conversation you guys can yeah, have tomorrow. Can. Yes. Yeah. Um, but we'll be back talking more about this front, all the change, and is asking households and businesses to cut back on water. Yeah, and uh, meteorologist Jordan Steele shows us why mandatory water restrictions could be in the cards unless more rainfall falls real soon. So let's talk about the tropics. Speaking of drought, we've kind of been in that in the Atlantic yeah. Basin. There has been nothing for a month. Yeah, and uh, we were talking a little bit nervous. I mean, how are we going to do here in terms of name storms? Colorado State lowered their number to 18 But still above storms. average. Right, still above average. What was it, 88% of the season still to go? Right, so there is time. Right. Plenty of time, plenty of time. And this Invest yeah. 97L designated this week doesn't have a great chance mm -hmm. in the short term, five days, 30% chance, but that doesn't mean that it's not yeah. going to make it. And we're in that season where we see these tropical waves. It happens usually about every three to five days right. or so. Tropical waves come off the coast of Africa at this you know, point in the season, and you watch them for development. Here's the zone in the main development region that you could possibly see some development. We'll see. There's things working against it. Mm -hmm. One is it's just been so stable out here. We've been watching all this air come off of Africa, and right. it's really warm aloft, and that puts a lid basically on the atmosphere for yeah, development. It does, and you know we've seen subtle changes, but not that big change. And I was watching Dr. Rick Nab last night, he did say, you know, if it stays weaker and stays south and mm -hmm. stays under the trough or the trough can't pick it up that's coming into the east, as it goes further west, it might have a little better chance. Yeah, that's in that's interesting way yeah. uh, perspective to look at it. You know, right now, you don't see those clouds bubbling up. You don't see mm -hmm. organization and low pressure. For now, I mean, you look to this high pressure to the north for steering, but for a system that's not organized or weak, it's not going to grow tall enough to even get picked up by the steering flow. Right, and that would be later in the week. I mean, we might be talking about this for seven days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it goes to 10 days, maybe we're talking about something more than what it is. So I think the messaging right now, keep an eye on it. Yes. We still yes. got some time to go. And so, you know, you look at the forecast models, generally all of them in consensus and tracking it, not necessarily developing it either into anything strong. But right. you look at mid-August and where the points of origin are for storms that have already happened in the past, it's right in the zone where we're watching right now. Yeah, it is. And also uh, closer to home, but not as much as it is out over the open yeah. waters of the Atlantic. And by the way, Howard, it weakened back to a tropical storm, hit some cooler and more stable conditions out here, but it ramped up quick, it ramped down quick. It, yeah, pretty quick. Uh, don't forget our question of the day. How does it expected today? I'm mm -hmm. probably isolated in the southeast, but maybe a little yeah. more widespread in the mid-Atlantic. So watching this front that's coming down, mm -hmm. it will bring a big change in temperatures, yeah. but it also will enhance the rainfall. And, you know, look, this has been a pattern we've been in with all this moisture. Yeah. I want to show you where we're dealing with some of the worst concerns, actually, today. We do have dry air. I mean, there's, there is good news out there in Wisconsin, in northern Illinois, in Michigan. You guys are feeling it. That's where we have the orange on the water vapor. Orange equals dry. But everywhere else, we still have enough moisture out there to allow these thunderstorms to pop. And especially in the deep south, that's where the moisture is the deepest. But we are concerned into Kentucky, into southern Ohio, West Virginia, western Virginia, you know, even west Tennessee, places that are flood prone anyway, just given the terrain. And then you bring in the fact that we've had multiple big rain events already in the past 10 days and the fact that we are going to be looking at saturated ground and more rain falling on top of it. So flood watches are up through this evening. We still can't shake this concern for flash flooding. Eastern Kentucky, East Tennessee, it does actually include the Nashville area, Charleston, even D.C., Maryland, Philly, and, and South Jersey. We could get some big rain out of some showers or thunderstorms that could easily cause some ponding of water on roadways and just drainage issues, too. That's another challenge when you get these bigger rain uh, events. Uh, this is how much rain we can handle in the area. So I'll point this out. I'll go slow through this here. Where you see the oranges and the yellow, this is where it's a half inch to an inch-ish of rainfall. And you can see that's a large part of Kentucky up here, southern Ohio, into a lot of West Virginia and southwest Pennsylvania. And then, of course, down here into eastern Kentucky. And then over into portions of western Virginia, western North Carolina, Bristol, Roanoke, all spots that really can't handle that much rain, even in just an hour's time frame. And so we'll be worried about, you know, if we see rainstorms pop up and form and not move and with bigger rainfall rates, that's when you worry about flash flooding. So it, that becomes a now cast. You know, the, the exact flash flood warning is issued when the storm has happened and when flash flooding is imminent. So that becomes a now cast. And so you just need to pay attention to the weather over the next 36 hours or so here. Then the dry air comes in. But until then, just know we've got a chance of maybe one to two inches of rain with some of these thunderstorms adding up, right?
Right, so it, it doesn't <laughs> look like, yeah, you know, it, it's, it's okay. Well, nothing imaginary about the heat that cooks up inside a food truck. And while you and I might skip heating up our kitchen by letting them do the cooking, they cannot avoid it. Meteorologist Reynolds Wolf stepped inside the superior vegan truck with the mom and daughter duo to see how they stay cool when the mercury climbs. From hot days to hot nights, we want to talk about what we've been dealing with here in the Northeast. It's been a really steamy couple of days. Yeah, and usually we see these trajectories in the wintertime. But the overnight lows have been warm and the daytime yeah. highs have been warm. As you yeah. mentioned earlier, we've had numerous overnight record high low yes. temperatures. Yes, those yeah. warm summer nights. So Philadelphia, I mean, your air was coming from the Bahamas, basically. And now as we get our fronts through, we've got two of them this week, it's going to be a huge change in air mass. Uh, yeah, I mean, dew points are going to drop. Temperatures will come down, but it might be 85 over like 45 rather than 85 over 65. And that'll be the difference as the origin of this air mass is up here near Hudson Bay. It kind of makes the track down yep. with the front down into the northeast and maybe even the south. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah, no, it might, it might at least a little bit of it, a taste of it. So we go from highs yesterday in the, you know, the northeast that were like 98 in Boston, 97 in New York City. Look at the big change today. It's all about the change in air mass. So only 75 in Boston. It's huge. Yeah. Just depends where the air comes from. Yeah, it is. And it's a northwest flow, so it's drier air, but it does not quite get into the mid-Atlantic and southeast yet. 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 But it does. Yes, it does. Boston, you go from a couple of almost 100 degree days to yeah. maybe overnight lows in the low 60s yes. and no more record high low temperatures. Right. That was a big part of the story is how warm it was, especially right. to start the week. We set a record warm overnight temp in Boston. We did it in uh, Providence, a couple of spots on Long Island, like Islip, Philadelphia. I mean, it was been really warm and we still have some warm overnights to go overnight tonight to tomorrow, 74. But by the weekend, now we're getting that little bit of a taste of fall overnight lows dropping into the 60s. Yeah, there may be some spots that see fives as the first number on the car thermometer in the morning. So oh, we'll boy. see how we do into the <laughs> interior. I'm not Again, ready for that. Well, you know, I'm the guy, guy of extremes. I want 95 in humid or I want 25 in snow. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But New York City, you'll see some relief too from low 70s to maybe some yeah. mid 60s. I think your average low is still 70 degrees this time right, of year. Right, but we will see that cool down overnight. Now the question is, okay, is this going to last? Well, as we look to next week, the trend is actually warming up back again across the West, but actually staying on the cooler side with the trough in the east. Yeah, my guess is that the 90s and the heat and humidity will probably return at least at one some more point, time. but yeah. maybe but oh, they've got sand and we'll beach vibes and everything well, else. And well, it's going to feel like the beach. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess it looks a lot, of, a lot of nice beach weather on the roof, I guess. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. All right, what's your pick city? Well, I picked Albany. I was kind of track. never went to Saratoga. So you were not the first person to say that it's hard to leave the Albany area. Uh, Kelly Cass, I mean, she's yeah. here, that's where she's from, but it's she's beautiful. like, it, it, she didn't want to leave there. It's no, beautiful. You yeah. get north of New York City, you get away from, you know, the urban, and when you go into the suburban, even where I grew up in the Hudson Valley, yeah. I mean, it's gorgeous, and the weather is going to be great, too. Yeah. 50s, and that's why I said, when I see Mid 50s there, I think in the Adirondacks is probably getting the 40s. Yes, Hope yes. So. I mean, this is what an August <laughs> cold front does. I mean, hard to complain about right. this, right? We're asking you on our question of the graveyard of the yeah, southeast. Is I Florida know. I thought that was a great description. <laughs> they of the, usually don't make it. Not in August, no, no. you know. Uh, Rich. Otherwise, yeah. Cutting the grass. Nah, not interested. There's a sweet spot, right? Yeah. Too humid is too much. Too little is too dry. So. Right. And it's summer after all. Mm -hmm. I want that feeling. Yeah. Well, let's get into the out there. We'll show you some of the... Well, welcome back, everyone. Hope you are having a good Wednesday. We're halfway through the week. America's Morning Headquarters getting you through the mid-morning hours and helping you plan for all of your big events ahead. And thanks for joining us. A um, couple of big stories. Um, the heat's breaking or has broken in some spots. In the Northeast, yeah. And, you know, we're hoping that front gets south, and we think it will. It might. I always say think, though. But it's August. <laughs> it's August, right. And before it gets there, it's going to bring some issues, like with heavy rainfall. Uh, yeah, and there's more monsoon moisture to talk about. Um, um, the heavy rain could be a threat. There was some in the northeast yesterday.